And then last, Admiral, I want to ask you about the long-range discrimination uh, radar. Um, we, we follow pretty closely in Alaska what is going on with um, missile defense and uh, take the, the role that we have as a state where we are a host to, um, to the GMD system there at, at, at Greeley very, uh, very seriously. I have been encouraged by what we're seeing coming out of the uh, development of the long-range discrimination radar and, and the fielding schedule that we're looking at um, and, and having it operational within Alaska within this next decade. Uh, I was somewhat troubled to, to see that on the House side, they have struck out your FY15 request for the LRDR planning. So I would like for you to describe um, not only what the capabilities that LRDR brings to the missile defense system, but also to the, um, to the, to the basing aspect of it. I think, or at least I've been told pretty consistently that um, this will be based in Alaska. There's some discussion as to where it might be and, and how the siting um, will impact the, the effectiveness of that. So if you can speak to the LRDR system. Yes, ma'am, and, and I'll, I'll keep it short, but there are act, eight active trade studies that we're conducting within MDA and with the warfighter to answer those exact questions in terms of what is the best placement of the radar, what is the right frequency of the radar, what is the right power of the radar to meet what we project to be the threat in 2020. The importance of the radar is that it provides us that needed discrimination capability against the threat from North Korea. As they continue to progress and add decoys and countermeasures, and I'll, I'll stop there in terms of classification, we must have a discrimination capability of a radar to counter that, to keep our shot doctrine manageable and to defeat raid sizes of more than one. And, and I view it at, in conjunction with the EKV redesign that I've asked for in this budget as well as the two most critical components to the GMD program going forward, in addition to the needed reliability improvements. Absolutely vital. You mentioned that you are doing the, the assessment, the analysis there for the siting. Do you have any idea as to when uh, those decisions might be made and, and more importantly, made public? Over the course of the summer, I'm on a very aggressive timeline to, to award uh, this radar in FY15 to meet the FY20 uh, capability, which I, I view as critical. Um, I would take it for the record, but it'll be over the next several months, ma'am, and we'll be sure to come over and see you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.